This tutorial will demonstrate how to make a program in Scratch that will ask the user for a number and determine whether the number is a perfect square or not. So in order to complete this program, you need to have an understanding of what a perfect square is. A perfect square is the number that is made by squaring a whole number. So for example, 16 is a perfect square because the square root of 16 is 4. That is 4 times 4 equals 16, and 4 is a whole number. If you took the square root of 10 instead, you would end up with something like 3.1622, and that is not a whole number. So 10 would not be considered a perfect square. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is change my sprite. I'm going to use boy3. I'm also going to, well, I'm going to delete the cat first. Then I'm going to adjust the backdrop. I'm going to call it perfect square. And I'm going to draw a square. So if I hold down the shift key when I draw my square, so this is the, the rectangle. The square is a special kind of rectangle, so we're going to Hold down the shift key to make a nice perfect square, just to make it look nice. And we'll go back to our sprite and I'll move him over. And I'm actually want, I want the sprite to start off looking like this. And then this looks more of like I'm answering the question for you. So what we'll do is we'll go to our code for the sprite. So make sure your sprite is selected. Now you can do the code. Of course, we always start off with when the flag is clicked and we need a couple variables. Make a variable for square root of the number and a variable for the number we are checking. Number for that we get from the user. And what we like to do is initialize our variables to zero at the beginning of our program. So we're going to initialize both of those. Initialize the variables means give it an initial value. So they'll start off as zero. And if we replay the program, then what will happen is the numbers will be reset to zero. So as I mentioned, we're going to switch the costume. We're going to start off the costume as being B. So this guy instead, when it runs, as you can see, he is now in a different position. And I'm going to ask the user for the number. So what number would you like to check? We will ask and wait for the user's answer. So we've got our answer block ready to go in and we're going to set check number equal to the user answer. Now we're going to have to find out what the square root of the number is to see if it's actually a whole number. So we need to go to, well, we'll set it the square root equal, the square root number equal to the square root of the number that the user entered in. So you can see under operators, we have the operator for square root of, and we're going to be doing the square root of. So just go under data and take check number and put it into there. So then we've got the square root of the number the user entered in. Now, while the when the guy answers the question, I want him to look a little bit different. So I'm going to switch his costume just for fun to A. And then when he answers, it'll look a little bit different. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check if it's actually a perfect square. So we need the if then else block. Now here's where the logic is a little bit tricky, but uh, bear with me. What you need to do is Take the square root of the number. All right, I'll put it in here and then I'll explain it. So the square root of the number, and we're going to subtract it from the rounded square root of the number. So what will happen here, let me show you. There we go. We're going to check if that's equal to zero. So 
sometimes it's tricky to drag in. So what I did there, I used a few operators. I had the equals, the minus, and the round operator, and I put them all together. So let's say the, the number that the user enters is 16. The square root of 16 is determined to be four. So we've got four minus, four rounded would be four. So four minus four equals zero. In that case, we know that is going to be a perfect square. So we'll say it's a, oops. It's a perfect square. Otherwise, it's not going to be a perfect square. And I'll go over that logic as well. So we'll say it's not a perfect square. So let's say the user enters in 10. The square root of 10 is something like 3.16. So this here would be 3.16 for the square root of a number minus, if you round 3.16, you end up with 3. So 3.16 minus 3, you end up with decimal 16, blah, blah, blah. So you end up with that decimal portion of the answer. And so that is not equal to 0. Therefore, it would not be a perfect square. So let's try running our program now. What number would you like to check? Well, let's start off with 16. It's a perfect square. Great, let's run it again, and this time we're going to type in 10, which is not a perfect square. Press enter, and indeed it's not. And you can see it keeps track of your variable values. So 3.162278 is not a whole number. So therefore, when you take the square root of 10 and you get a number that's not a whole number, you can say that it's actually not a perfect square.